Welcome to BWXT Canada. The health and safety of our employees and visitors is of utmost importance to us, and we strive to finish each and every day injury and incident free. As a visitor to our facility, it's important that you understand our requirements and procedures in order to minimize safety risks and prevent exposure to hazards. Please place your safety as well as the safety of others as a priority. Upon arriving at main reception, you'll be required to use the telephone to gain entrance. If you know your sponsor's extension, please dial it. Otherwise, call security and let them know who you are here to see. You'll be required to sign in on the visitor system using the kiosk and obtain and wear a visitor badge. Badges are available at our main reception and security desks. This visitor badge must be worn at all times while at our facilities and must be returned when you leave. If you are a contractor or service provider, please take a badge marked S and ensure you watch the second part of this video titled Contractor Safety. While on BWXT Canada property, your BWXT sponsor will be responsible for your safety and well-being. Please ensure you stay with your sponsor at all times. If you require an elevator, please let your sponsor know. To operate the elevator, you must use a code that can be provided to you. As a visitor to our facilities, you are expected to be fit and alert and never under the influence of drugs or alcohol of any kind. Horseplay, fighting, threatening, and immoral behavior will not be tolerated. Likewise, theft, destruction, defacing, or removal of company property or property of others is prohibited. In the unlikely event of a fire or building evacuation, you'll be required to exit our facility with your sponsor and proceed immediately to a designated marshalling area. Our facilities use a two-tone system to alert for the need of evacuation. The first stage indicates the need to be ready to evacuate. Stay alert during this time should the secondary stage sound. The secondary stage alarm indicates the need to evacuate immediately. When this stage sounds, stay calm, leave your belongings, and follow your sponsor in an orderly fashion out of the facility and to the designated marshalling area. In the unlikely event that you are separated from your sponsor, please contact them immediately via phone call or text to confirm their location. Your attendance will be taken and an all clear horn will sound when it is safe to re-enter the building. Fire extinguishers are located throughout all our facilities. If you notice a fire, please inform your BWXT Canada sponsor immediately. Only fight the fire if it is safe to do so and your exit is clear. If the alarm has not sounded, please activate the nearest fire alarm by pulling the white handle downward. Please also notify security by dialing 5555. All stairwells are equipped with handrails. It is important to use the handrails while climbing and descending the stairwells to avoid a fall. At BWXT Canada, we have several first aid trained employees and 24 hour security personnel who are also trained in first aid. All injuries and illnesses, no matter how minor, must be reported to your sponsor, relevant managers, and the environmental health and safety staff. Injuries will be investigated by appropriate personnel to determine the root cause as well as corrective actions. In the event of a medical emergency, please call 9911 from a BWXT phone, then call security at 5555 to alert them to the medical emergency. Security will direct the nearest BWXT first aid trained employee to assist until emergency services arrive. The coronation facility is equipped with a first aid room to treat minor injuries until emergency services arrive. AEDs, or automatic external defibrillators, are located through all BWXT Canada facilities. In the event of a medical emergency, only those trained in the use of AEDs should deliver medical attention to those in need. Contact security at extension 5555 should the need to use an AED arise and security will contact the nearest AED trained employee to use this equipment. AED locations are marked on all marshalling area maps throughout the facility. Smoking and vaping is strictly prohibited at our facilities with the exception of marked designated smoking areas. Your sponsor can point out these areas if needed. Eating and drinking is not permissible in our training and manufacturing facilities. Designated areas are located throughout the facility for this purpose. Eating and drinking is however permissible within office areas. Photography of any kind while within BWXT Canada facilities is strictly prohibited. BWXT is committed to providing a harassment and violence free workplace and places maximum priority on the safety and well-being of all its employees and guests. 
acts of harassment or violence against or by any person at a workplace or other site involved with company business will not be tolerated. Any person who engages in, attempts, or threatens workplace violence will be asked to leave the site and will be prohibited from returning pending the outcome of an investigation. All actual, attempted, or threatened acts of violence at a site will be reported to the local law enforcement agency. Our manufacturing and training facilities are equipped with heavy machinery, motorized vehicles, cranes, and active welding and machining. It is important that you follow our procedures for plant safety while on BWXT Canada property. Failure to do so may result in your removal from our facility. Hard hats and eye protection must be worn at all times while within our manufacturing and training facilities. Safety glasses, earplugs, and hard hats may be obtained from your sponsor or from security within our facilities. It is not mandatory to wear hearing protection going into the manufacturing or training facilities, but it must be carried with you in case of working or passing through a loud area. Noise monitors installed throughout the facility provide an indication of the noise level in the area. Unless you're wearing steel toe footwear, you are to remain within the yellow lines of our training and manufacturing facilities at all times. Be mindful and take care when walking over uneven surfaces. Open-toed footwear is never permitted within our manufacturing and services facilities. When traveling from building to building, always use personnel doors. Never exit or enter the building using large bay doors. When traveling between buildings in our yards, always be mindful of motorized vehicle traffic and stay between the yellow walkway lines. Never enter an area that has barrier tapes or radiation signs posted. Please ask a supervisor or your sponsor if you need to enter an area with yellow caution tape or a yellow expandable gate. Our shops are busy with various welding activities. To prevent flash burn, do not look directly at welding activity. Our manufacturing facilities are equipped with a variety of machines and equipment. Please do not remove guards, bypass safeties, or tamper with these items and never operate machines or equipment without proper training and permission. Please be aware of your surroundings and always check for hazards before entering a new area. Materials may be hot from welding. Please refrain from touching. Slip, trip, and fall hazards can present themselves in office and manufacturing areas. Please look out for trip hazards such as cords, as well as slippery surfaces such as melted snow around pedestrian doors during the winter time. While within our manufacturing facilities, be cognizant of overhead crane sirens which signal a load is being moved close by. Cranes moving loads have the right of way. Never position yourself under a raised load. If a load is being moved overhead, please be cautious and aware. You may be asked to stand in place until the load has been moved. Please cooperate and follow the lead of your BWXT Canada sponsor. While at BWXT Canada, if you spot any substandard conditions that could cause accidents, please report it to your BWXT sponsor. Health and safety committee members can be identified by their green hard hats. It is not uncommon for an employee or a safety person to check with a visitor to the facility if they have had safety orientation. Joint health and safety committee members will also be happy to help you if you have any safety concerns to report. Our facility is located within a very busy area of the city, so we ask that you take care when exiting and entering the parking lots. Please also watch for pedestrian traffic. Thank you for visiting BWXT Canada. We hope your visit with us is productive, informative, and most of all safe. If you are a visitor of BWXT Canada, your safety orientation is now complete. If you are a contractor that will be performing work at our facilities, please continue on to part two of the safety orientation. As a contractor performing work at BWXT Canada, you are expected to work safely and follow work procedures and policies. Before beginning any work, please ensure you have provided copies of any necessary certifications to an EHS employee. Only authorized personnel that have completed the safety orientation are permitted inside the facility. Contractors are required to wear their security badges at all times. BWXT Canada has the right to inspect personal lockers, bags, or vehicles while on company property. BWXT is committed to providing our employees and contractors with a safe, healthy, and productive work environment. We expect anyone who is performing work in our facilities to report to work capable of performing their tasks safely and productively. Being under the influence of alcohol or drugs can have serious adverse impacts on our employees and our business. 
Please ensure you are wearing the necessary personal protective equipment for the job you will be performing as outlined in the Job Safety Analysis or Safe Operation Procedure document. A job safety analysis must be provided to EHS before any high-risk work may be performed at the facility. A minimum requirement of hard hat, safety glasses with side shields, and safety boots must be worn. Hearing protection must be worn when the noise monitor light is red or if you are working near or performing the following types of work. Grinding, gouging, chipping, or pneumatic tool work. When working near or performing arc gouging, double hearing protection is required. If at any point you have a safety question or concern, please direct it to your BWXT contact or a safety representative who can be identified by their green hard hats. Shorts, muscle shirts, and open-toed shoes are prohibited while in the manufacturing and training facility. No jewelry of any kind may be worn when working with rotating tooling and equipment or while welding. Keep loose clothing, including hoodie strings, away from rotating parts. Gloves are exempt when working with rotating equipment. Prior to beginning work, every worker shall ensure that they have looked for and controlled area hazards. Please ask your BWXT contact for assistance if you have any questions. Fall protection is required for work at heights greater than two meters or six feet within two meters of the roof's edge or when working on an elevated work platform. This policy is strictly enforced and those found working without fall protection equipment could be asked to leave. A valid working at heights certificate must be presented prior to work. A valid mobile elevated work platform operator's license must be presented prior to operating any mobile lift. Permission must be obtained before operating a BWXT lift. While performing work on an elevated lift, barrier tape must be used to establish safe work area around the lift. Work overhead signage must be posted alongside the tape. If performing work on the roof, a safety plan or job safety analysis, also known as a JSA, must be submitted to the EHS department before work can commence. Contractors must inspect the roof for weakness and other unsafe conditions prior to work. Any open areas or holes on the roof must be covered, protected by guardrails, and or fall restraint must be worn. Covers must be clearly identified in bright paint stating, open cover, do not stand or remove. As part of the safety plan, anchor and tie-off points must be able to support a fall. Railings or other apparatus must be in place when working within two meters of the roof's edge. A work overhead sign must be posted below the work area, along with barrier tape to establish a safe work zone. BWXT Canada undergoes a full asbestos assessment yearly and has a management program. Locations where asbestos-containing materials are present have been identified. Most have been removed or encapsulated. A specific procedure must be followed if performing cutting, burning, and or grinding operations on the transite siding on the container shop walls due to the asbestos. All identified asbestos is promptly removed by an outside vendor that is trained in the removal process. Any remaining friable materials that could not be encapsulated or controlled due to their location is regularly inspected by an external vendor. If a substance that is thought to be asbestos is encountered during work, all work will immediately stop. Chemicals are prominent around BWXT Canada. If you are working with chemicals, please ensure you are well versed with the safe handling and storage requirements of the chemical. Contractors will have to provide copies of their WIMIS training certificate before working with chemicals. All flammable products must be stored in the flammable storage cabinet at the end of use, including leaving the area for breaks. In the event of a spill, please locate the closest spill kit and use the contents inside to contain the spilled materials. Ensure any nearby floor drains and or doorways leading to the outdoors are also blocked to ensure spilled material does not leave our facility. After the spill is contained, barrier off the area and report the spill to your BWXT contact. All BWXT safety data sheets are available on the intranet. If you require one of our SDSs, request it and we will provide it. Contractors are required to bring in applicable SDSs for their tasks and have them readily available. They must be reviewed by the EHS department prior to use. All contractors must ensure they know and understand what they are working with and take the appropriate precautions as per the safety data sheet. Do not work with a chemical or material without knowing its hazards. 
tools and equipment must be in good working condition. Immediately notify your BWXT sponsor if there are deficiencies to ensure they are tagged as out of service. These tags may not be removed by any unauthorized personnel. Repairs by unauthorized personnel and use of homemade tools is strictly prohibited. Lockout tags ensure equipment is properly shut off and not able to be started up again prior to the completion of maintenance or repair work. A lock may only be removed by the person that performed the lockout. All elements of the lockout procedure must be followed without exception. All contractors must have their own locks and coordinate lockouts with the maintenance department. Housekeeping is everyone's responsibility. Each shift ensures the work area is in acceptable condition prior to the end of the shift. The supervisor will ensure all materials and equipment are secure and barrier tape and fencing is in place. Materials may not be leaned against walls, fixtures, or in areas where they could fall on others. All tools and equipment must be returned to their designated storage areas when not in use. Cords, cables, and hoses will be managed to prevent slips, trips, and fall hazards. Please follow all elements of the safe work plan. All hazardous waste must be collected and placed in the appropriate drum or container. All contractors are expected to remove their waste from the site upon completing their work. Hazardous waste is not permitted to be put down any drains. Cardboard and metal waste may be placed in the appropriate containers. A confined space is defined as a space that is not meant for human occupancy and where an atmospheric hazard may exist. Valid confined space training certificates must be presented prior to performing work. A BWXT confined space permit is required and all elements of the permit must be followed. Unless otherwise arranged, the employees will provide their own monitor, safety person, and emergency responder. Contractors may not enter confined spaces without permission from BWXT. Hot work permits are required by contractors for cutting, burning, grinding, and any other spark producing task. Fire watch is required for 30 minutes after hot work is completed. Please follow all elements of the hot work permit. Large materials are moved using cranes. Only employees who have had crane training may operate a crane. Contractors and subcontractors are not permitted to operate any BWXT crane without permission. To operate a forklift, contractors must receive permission from BWXT Canada and provide valid licenses. As a pedestrian, always ensure the forklift operator can see you. Never walk directly behind a forklift. When driving in our yard, all vehicles must adhere to the posted 15 km per hour speed limit and obey all stop signs and other traffic signs. Please be on the lookout for pedestrians. All steps, stands, and ladders must be checked prior to use. Please report any problems to your BWXT sponsor. Contractors are only permitted to use the fiberglass ladders. BWXT Canada property is on a live rail line. The train moves across Highway 24 and the Jeffrey Street entrance. If trains are stopped, please do not walk between cars or under rail gates that are in the down position. The eye at the yard gate allows vehicles to enter. The gate opens and a red light flashes until the gate is fully opened. It then turns to a yellow flashing light. Trains do not stop for traffic at this entry. If for any reason a contractor must enter or exit at this point, please look both ways before crossing and only do so when it is safe. You have now completed the BWXT safety orientation. Please ensure you complete any other required training due prior to beginning work at BWXT and submit any necessary licenses and or certifications.